Hello everyone, it's been a while, after my music videos, AMVs, trailer, and other stuff, I want to make, a toy review. I found these six figures. Combined they become a big fat ass mean machine. They're from McFarlane Toys. Todd McFarlane is the creator of the comic anti-hero, Spawn. This is the reason why these creations look so fucked up. McFarlane figures are known for their extreme details, and sadly for their flimsiness and use of cheap plastic, the newest figures aren't flimsy anymore, but small, very small. In 2001, these figures didn't sell very well, but each of them are extremely detailed for their time. Each of these figures comes with a folded sheet of instructions and pieces to combine the big mother lover. There are re-releases from 2006, under the name Cyber Units. These versions exist in the color schemes blue, red, and green, but the biggest difference between these is that they can combine. Every removable part is now glued on. I bought this one a long time ago, and right after I tried to stand him on my desk, his left knee shield and arm gear fall off, I glued the arm shield so that I could bend his arm, and his knee shield is now on his chainsaw arm to hide the ball joint. Such a crazy design. The details are amazing. He comes with a cool mask. He looks like a grasshopper with a chainsaw. When I took him out of his packaging, I discovered that his chainsaw arm is very loose. This thing will break off. I knew it. Now we got a robot with killer boots and a Schwarzenegger gun. Even this dude has a problem with leprosy. Lucky me. He comes with the insect robo mask. Let me introduce you to the other units. Now back to business. One of these creatures comes with two boosters. These boosters will become the hips of the great big fat fuck robot. Then you have those antennas. Which are extendable. Now we have all the things we need. Grotesque looking robots. Complicated and confusing constructions. An assembled stand. And the most important tool for handling with McFarlane figures. Super glue. Now the fun begins. These combine modes are funny. The skinny dude fucks the neck of his partner.
the legs and torso are almost done. Challenge accepted. That was easy. Now it gets enjoyable. The chainsaw arm finally fall off. And the other arm too. I can work as a fortune teller. He now looks better if you ask me. These legs looking fantastic. And remember, when you don't know where to combine, Suck your dick and everything is fine. And now. This thing looks amazing. All the details of these six figures combine to one monstrous looking piece of plastic. Good thing he has a stand. Now a little size comparison. This badass next to the Sentinel from X-Men, both of them are 16 inches tall, but I didn't mounted the two antennas on the badass. If you would count these in then he is definitely taller. Now Jason Voorhees from NECA. Poor little 7 inch Jason. When it comes to articulation this figure is quite surprising. You can move the arms back and forth. You can move the fingers or claws. The little arms on his chest. The left arm is extremely stiff. The head can look left, right and down. Why should he have to look up anyway? And as you can see, our little robot friend gives himself a blowjob, so he can still combine. And he wouldn't be a toy if he hadn't in pointless gimmick. That's right. Shooting missiles. Now we're come to the funny part. My robot is not 100% correct. The armor of his left leg don't attach to the part where it should be. Because the left leg of the little robot broke off. I had to glue the armor on a part of the leg. So he could stand properly. These are the leftover parts. There are no hints in the instructions there or tell you where some of these things belong. Here is a good example how irritating the instructions are. The picture shows an armor shield. The only thing we know is that this is a part from the robot named RL3. So where could we attach this thing? Then I remembered our little blowjob robot friend and know where this thing belongs.
Oh yeah, sexy music. This thing looks stupid if you ask me. Another reason why my badass isn't complete is that the arms on the chainsaw robot fall off. But why would a giant robot need a chainsaw on his shoulder anyway? The red wires on his head are also broken. Don't know how this happened. I later modified him the way I wanted. The two leftover shields are now pegged on the left leg to hide the empty gap. The leg looks now better to me. I put this shield on his arm. Now the arm looks more masculine. The head is now properly plugged in place, and now he has a second head. I like this figure, it sure has weaknesses but also strengths. The plastic is cheap but detailed. The instructions are sometimes weird, but despite the fact that this was their first try to make a build a figure, robot is in my opinion quite a success for the company. Also the price is alright, I bought these figures for 40 euro, and I'm completely satisfied with this creation. It looks like a combination of all my favorite robot movies. I would recommend this figure every fan of robots and cyborgs. I hope that I could helped, or at least enjoyed you a little bit. Thank you for watching. Asks Joseph Dregvks and Kalkalhwadvks Mibayach Fiat. Very much. God I love this program. Have a nice day.